It's officially fall, so let's talk about a different kind of fall. The fall of man. Today's episode is brought to you by Adam and Eve. No, not that Adam and Eve. We're talking about the upscale adult boutique. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. If you head over to adamandeve.com and use the code BATTLE, you'll get almost any one item for 50% off and 10 free gifts. That's something for him, a gift for her, a third item you'll both enjoy, six free movies and free shipping. Again, head over to adamandeve.com and use the code BATTLE to get almost any one item for 50% off and 10 free gifts. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Hey, it's Marshall. Boomstick, bud, you'll never believe this. I found your dad. Okay, I think your dad's around here somewhere. I got a tip from a guy. Uh, he's wearing red. Wait, his dad or your guy? Ah, oh, who cares? Boomstick doesn't need this. Oh, yeah! What you need is to snap into a Slim Jim. Macho Man Randy Savage? Dad? 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 What? That's... No, Randy Savage never had any children. Hey, who knows? He had a dynamite career in the wrestling ring, and that could bring in all the ladies. My mom definitely would have gone for that. Oh, the macho man is the cream, and I'm always rising to the top. Ugh, well, for those unaware, Randy Poffo burst into the wrestling scene in 1973 as Randy Savage, the macho man. In just a decade, he smashed into the World Wrestling Federation and won a heavyweight championship. Macho Man? More like Macho King! He bench pressed over 300 pounds and ripped himself out of a straitjacket. He's won 70% of all his televised matches thanks to his super move, the elbow drop. Except when he's using that same elbow drop to, no joke, bring people back from the dead. Yeah, when my brother was down for the count, I smacked him back into full fighting condition. That's just the power an intercontinental heavyweight champ like me brings to the ring, oh yeah. And he's kicked butt outside the ring too. He's battled Spider-Man and even Chuck Norris. That's right, he fought the guy whose push-ups pushed the Earth down. No wonder he was powerful enough to destroy entire planets as the intergalactic tyrant. Wrestler. That seems a bit out of character. You know I'm thirsty to win, yeah. Oh yeah! Did someone say thirsty? Oh no. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Please listen closely. This sucralose abomination with no respect for solid structures is more than just a five cent mascot. Damn right! He's a friggin' superhero! Once upon a time, he was just a simple pitcher with a smiley face. But then, the Thirsties attacked, threatening the delicate balance between hydration and drought, achieving intelligence and mobility unheard of for glassware. Only the Kool-Aid Man possesses the power, the skill, and the sheer liquid magnitude to battle this alien force. That's right, the Kool-Aid Man fights to save the world from thirst itself. This is real. Standing six feet tall and weighing 11,000 pounds, god damn. He never lets a foe get away, even braving time travel and outer space. Yep, even in a vacuum, he's golden. Just like that golden nectar flavor, right? You remember that? Just looked like a bucket of piss. So it's safe to say the Kool-Aid Man is surprisingly powerful. He's super strong and can seemingly break through any wall, be it wood, brick, steel, concrete, or even spaceship holes. Yet his true power is far more esoteric. He can teleport himself and others in an instant, enlarge to kaiju proportions, and summon walls out of thin air. But Wiz, let's ask the real question. Is the Kool-Aid Man the glass pitcher or the juice inside? Like, where is his soul? Well, we have seen him exist solely as a pitcher before adding Kool-Aid mix, but officially, he's both. Which is important, as he can always summon more Kool-Aid. That's cool, I guess, but why would he even need more? Because the Kool-Aid Man is an unexplainable, high-fructose corn syrup eldritch deity that possesses complete omnipotent control over all things Kool-Aid. 
He can control it telekinetically, use it to create portals to his own Kool-Aid dimension, launch himself or others fast enough to spin the moon, and even manipulate matter. Such as when he twisted these mountains into Kool-Aid. Which is how many tons of TNT or whatever? What? You're the math guy, math it up. But we're not at the lab. The only one there is uh, the IT girl. Strassland! Oh! Uh, I need you to calc this mountain. On it. Right. Let's not ask me. The actual living computer. Done. Try. Based on their shape, these appear to be stratovolcanoes. To manipulate each to twist at one revolution per two tenths of a second, the Kool Aid Man would have to be exerting energy equivalent to 497 sextillion joules. For a little perspective, that's only about five times less than the energy output every second by the sun. Which he broke, by the way. Okay, but when Macho Dad snaps a Slim Jim, he also gets crazy world-shattering powers. Like, he can teleport, shapeshift, and manipulate reality. He can control electricity, smash through any wall, rip your hair off with wind power, and summon tornadoes, lightning, even a stampede of raging bulls. Gosh, so manly. I didn't exactly expect these, uh sodium flesh sticks to contain such potent magic. Well, however they work, he's eaten so many Slim Jims, he's maintained some of their power permanently. As Rasslor, he defeated the superhero Major Glory with a single punch, who could run 500 laps around the world in two seconds. That would require speeds over 33 times faster than light. If these two were to fight each other, it would be wild. But first, if you want the confidence of the world's most awesome pro wrestler and a sentient fruit drink, check out Blue Chew. This episode is brought to you by Blue Chew. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The key to success in life and in one of our death battles is confidence. Confidence can take you far in life. That's why Blue Chew delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis in chewable tablet form right to your door. Yep, and did we mention you can get Blue Chew's tablets at a fraction of the cost of those other guys? Getting ready to go is simple. Just sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Plus, it's all done online, which means no more awkward conversations with your doctor or waiting in line at the pharmacy. And you can take Blue Chew anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for you. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code BATTLE at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code BATTLE to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And thanks, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the show. But right now, it's time for a dead battle! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get him, Dad. What? Man's liquids can raise plants and heal the dead? Yeah, oh, this grass gets so tall. Yeah, well, Macho Dad can turn into a friggin' dragon. Isn't that just a Skyrim mod? Not that big of a stretch. He can turn his fingers into snakes. Oh no, snakes. Right. You're just jealous of how awesome my dad is. He's not. Ugh, look, Kool Aid Man is like nothing he's ever fought. That sugary monster once turned the entire world into Kool Aid. Come on, bud. Your dad's got this. Oh, yeah! Ah, oh, forget it.
Blech. Wait a sec. If he's not your dad, but your dad is here and in red, then that can only mean... Oh my god. Huh. That was... different. Macho Man's skill set was beyond expectation, but, well, the Kool-Aid Man could destroy the sun. Greater than even Rassler's theoretical planetary feats, if you want to count those. These rules change all the time anyway. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. Good. Macho Man was faster, being over 30 times light speed. Even the Kool-Aid launch to the moon was only a fraction faster than light. But Randy could not be savage enough to hurt him. Kool-Aid Man possesses full control over all Kool-Aid. It was important to confirm that his existence is both of the pitcher and the liquid inside, as that means so long as Kool-Aid exists nearby, the Kool-Aid Man has life. And thanks to his magic, he could always summon more. I suppose Macho Man didn't have the thirst to win. Was that a joke? <sighs> Do you have an off switch? Yes. Anyway, the winner is the Kool-Aid Man. Obviously. Wiz, it's terrible! I'm the spawn of sugar and food coloring! Okay, I found your tip guy. It's Deadpool! Ah, what the hell is happening? Hey, I'm wearing red, just like I promised. You wouldn't have come if you knew it was me, right? After all, I'm only the second most famous Vancouver Deadpool. Damn that himbo. Um, okay, where's his dad? Oh, no idea. But my man Macho knows, so you can just ask. Oh. Oh, yeah! Same time next week. Oh, yeah. One last time. Where is my father? Shit! Thought it was them goddamn squirrels! Is that you, Booby? Mama? I, I thought Dad was here. So did I, Junebug. So did I. But I reckon I learned something. You can't worry much about what you hope for, cause then you might miss the way things turn out. Like how you got a couple of real good friends here helping you. I guess you can't always get what you want. But you just might find what you need. Thanks, Mama. Now get off my lawn, boy! Those goddamn squirrels ain't gonna hunt the trails! <laughs> 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 Wait a Davy Crockett minute. That boy sounds familiar. Great Zeus's juices. Did I have a son? I'm just a kid with a bad reputation. I know you want to see me watch in the station. You should take a look at yourself. so much for watching Death Metal for 10 years. If you want, we have a celebratory shirt that you can pick up right there at the Rooster Teeth store.